Ari, this is Jordi Prebber and welcome to today's Wednesday Weekly World News. The first article we're looking at is that on the We The People site, part of the whitehouse.gov website, is where petitions can be raised by people and these are things ranging across all sorts of matters that they would like discussed in government. And this petition here is to formally recognize Antifa as a terrorist organization. The thing to remember though about these sorts of petition sites, and we have one here in Great Britain for things to be discussed in Parliament, is that if the subject matter or the group or the individual that your petition is against, and you want action seen taken against them, if that group or that individual is, you know, a part of a plan that our enemy has, the petition is going to simply be whitewashed. And we've seen this time and time again, very important petitions, you know, on a very important subject matter, who's causing division, harm, loss to people. The petition just simply gets chucked out. These sorts of petitions, they say, well, if you get a certain number of people to sign it, then we'll discuss it. They don't discuss it. So to be honest, these sorts of things are like government itself. You know, they're supposed to be of the people for the people, but they simply are not. So signing these sorts of petitions is really pretty pointless. Um, yet people keep signing them. And cryptocurrency news now. So Bitcoin price has been going over $4,000. It's been going over and then dipping slightly under. But it's certainly higher since the since the last hard fork. Certainly, if you had a lot invested in Bitcoin before the hard fork, you know, your the return on your investment is going pretty good at the time. Like, uh, the record high was $4,500 last week. You know, people are putting trust in these sorts of cryptocurrencies. Really, the people's trust in whatever medium of currency, you know, then that should be recognized as such and it should be free open transparent and of course there should be no central control over it which is what people and why people are really going to cryptocurrencies because they don't want to get involved with the criminal fiat currency central banking system you know we've had enough of it it's days and numbered it's days and numbered simply by its design but you know we can peacefully non-comply with it and we can bring its demise forward certainly or at least you know that would be the ideal situation concerning prepping you definitely want to spread your wealth about get some physical gold get some silver in your back pocket spread it around you know don't keep your eggs all in one basket give a few coins to relatives friends trusted friends if you're in a group you may want to pool together your currency uh, you know, and get some coins, get some, and, you know, spread them out between the group. Get more than what you could individually. Yeah, use it as a collective resource. You know, just don't put your, all your eggs in one basket. Spread your wealth about, get some property, get some land. You know, just any land, you know, even if it's at the other end of your country. I see a lot of land in the US going really, really cheap. Just get it, make it part of your portfolio and this protects you and it's hedging you it's hedging your bets against the fiat currency ponzi scheme for when it collapses which it will it just gives you that bit more of a safety net and i've literally just come across this um article but absolutely insane you know they want to control what we think what we say and now of course they want to control what we eat in public and this is obviously about banning, you know, things in public that people are allergic to. Why are we seeing such an increase in allergic reactions to things? Allergies, allergic reactions, historically, have never ever been a problem for humankind. But just have a start, maybe have a little look into the reasons why we're seeing such a massive increase in allergic reactions to things. And, you know, just protect yourself against what's causing this. 